What you told me this afternoon about controlled folly has disturbed me very much. Do you mean that once a man learns to see, everything in the world is worthless? I didn't say worthless. I said unimportant. Everything is equal and therefore unimportant. There is no way for me to say that my acts are more important than yours, or that one thing is more essential than another. Therefore, all things are equal, and by being equal, they are unimportant. I asked him if his statements were a pronouncement that what he had called seeing was in effect a better way than really looking at things. He said that the eyes of man could perform both functions, but neither of them was better than the other. However, to train the eyes only to look was, in his opinion, an unnecessary loss. For instance, we need to look with our eyes to laugh, because only when we look at things can we catch the funny edge of the world. On the other hand, when our eyes see, everything is so equal that nothing is funny. Do you mean, Don Juan, that a man who sees cannot ever laugh? Perhaps there are men of knowledge who never laugh. I don't know any of them, though. Those I know see and also look, so they laugh. Would a man of knowledge cry as well? I suppose so. Our eyes look so we may laugh or cry or rejoice or be sad or be happy. I personally don't like to be sad, so whenever I witness something that would ordinarily make me sad, I simply shift my eyes and see it instead of looking at it. But when I encounter something funny, I look and I laugh. How does a man of knowledge exercise control folly when it comes to the death of a person he loves? Don Juan was taken aback by my question and looked at me quizzically. Take your grandson Lucio, I said. Would your acts be controlled folly at the time of his death? Take my son Ulalio. That's a better example. He was crushed by rocks while working in the construction of the Pan American Highway. My acts toward him at the moment of his death were controlled folly. When I came down to the blasting area, he was almost dead, but his body was so strong that it kept on moving and kicking. I stood in front of him and told the boys in the road crew not to move him anymore. They obeyed me and stood there surrounding my son, looking at his mangled body. I stood there too, but I did not look. I shifted my eyes so I would see his personal life disintegrating, expanding uncontrollably beyond its limits, like a fog of crystals, because that is the way life and death mix and expand. That is what I did at the time of my son's death. That's all one could ever do, and that is controlled folly. Had I looked at him, I would have watched him become immobile, and I would have felt a cry inside me, because never again would I look at his fine figure pacing the earth. I saw his death instead, and there was no sadness, no feeling. His death was equal to everything else. Don Juan was quiet for a moment. He seemed to be sad, but then he smiled and tapped my head. So you may say that when it comes to the death of a person I love, my controlled folly is to shift my eyes. <laughs>